One Step Prep, the number one, one SP family here, onestepprep.com. Juan and Joe, the J&J team, your friends in training program success. I'm about to go into a sim right now and sign off a couple guys here that are performing excellent, by the way. And I just want to tell you, yesterday with them, we did something that I hope if you haven't trained this in the past, you do find some time to train it, and that is airspeed unreliable. Literally, we took off right out of Kennedy's runway, 3-1 left. I gave them an airspeed unreliable situation, and particularly what I did was I clogged both pitot tubes, and the captain and FO's uh, airspeed indication was erroneous. Now, of course, what they did was, was perfect. First of all, it was visual, so they just leveled off. They maintained about a four degree pitch attitude. They adjusted their thrust setting, right? And they troubleshooted, hey, which one is erroneous? They're both erroneous. They ended up flying with the standby instrument, and we ended up coming back to a very successful approach back on runway three and left. Now look, one of the things I want to tell you is this. If both pedo probes, right, both of your pedo tubes are clogged, your airspeed indicator is gonna work as an altimeter. You agree? It's actually, with a climb, gonna show an increase in airspeed, and with a descent, it'll show a decrease in airspeed. So while we were on the approach, we actually had the stick shaker on this approach, right? And I'm gonna show you another clip here momentarily of the landing with the stick shaker. So below 45 knots, it stops. Right? That's it. We're on this approach, everything is great. And what's funny and what's so uh, counter or against the norm here, if you will, is that you're on this approach with a stick shaker. It just sounds weird, it feels weird. It doesn't seem like it should be that way because of course it shouldn't be. But it's one of these things that you have to completely disregard, fly and trust your standby instrumentation as you come in in the seat of your pants, right, as you come in and land this aircraft. Crew did a great job. I'm gonna sign them off for their check right here in the next, uh, oh, probably a couple hours here. And so I want you just to see this quick clip of us in the sim doing this exercise. And again, if you haven't done this in the past, do it, find some time to train it because it's invaluable, invaluable training. Joe Lignos here, OneStepPrep.com. Check us out, one, one, it's the number one, one ST family here, OneStepPrep.com. Go there, check out One Step Prep University. Listen to what I'm telling you, folks. It's exactly the platform that I wish I had when I went and did my type rating close to eight years ago on the 737NG. I bring you years of experience training in sims like the one I'm about to go in right now. I've got over 4,800 hours in these sims. I pour it all out on video on a 15 hour program for you and I promise you, you're gonna have success because guess what? If not, we'll give you your money back and fortunately, we've never had to do that. Nothing else for it to shake about. 500. <laughs> so indicate is 150. Plus 100. One hundred minimums. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten.